Hi everyone, and today we'll be looking at nebula in another galaxy. This is my 80 hour exposure on the Andromeda Galaxy. Welcome to SETI Astro. I have taken 16 hours of integration time for just red, green, and blue. Here is the red channel, green channel, blue channel, and combining them into an RGB image leads to this gorgeous image of the Andromeda Galaxy. Now this image alone would be amazing to just capture, but I have also enhanced it with 64 hours dedicated of narrowband data, 32 hours of which only for Oxygen 3. Here is 16 hours of hydrogen data. There is tons of structure throughout the entire galaxy. And doing a continuum subtraction leaves just the hydrogen data with no red contribution. Here is 32 hours of oxygen. Doing continuum subtraction for oxygen leaves some very broad emission structures to the left and near the core, and tons of small supernova remnant and planetary nebula. Sulfur is 16 hours. Continuum subtraction for sulfur leads to some emission near the core and more fuzzy broad patches around the outer ring of the galaxy itself. The sulfur emission was not nearly as strong as either hydrogen or oxygen throughout the galaxy. Combining the narrowband data in a standard Hubble palette leaves a lot of green due to the hydrogen, which made it very difficult to correct to a pleasing color palette. So I went with a more unconventional hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen palette which led uh, to a lot of orange and reds, which to my eye is a lot more pleasing. It still left the emissions near the core, along with the blue of this broader oxygen structure to the left of the galaxy. Now, if you just screen the narrowband continuum subtracted data with the RGB data, you'll be left with a lot of washed out looking nebula throughout the galaxy due to the bright continuum emission of the galaxy itself. So you have to really boost the contrast and saturation on your narrowband data to the point of absurdity. Here's mine, such that when you screen the two together, the nebula really come out. Here is the combined RGB and narrowband continuum subtracted data. Doing a quick zoom in to the upper left down to the lower right across the galaxy you can see all the nebula supernova remnant broad emission structures and dark dust lanes throughout the entire galaxy. The stars themselves, when all combined, show roughly 29,000 stars in the star field with plenty of colors from these beautiful, gorgeous oranges to blues for very bright stars down to a host of very dim stars and globular clusters within the galaxy itself. And now combining all the RGB, narrowband, and star data together gives the final Andromeda Galaxy with the narrowband enhancements compared to the original RGB. The really impressive thing is, is when I annotated all the globular clusters and supernova remnants and emission bubbles within the galaxy itself that's in the catalog. We'll just quickly look through some of them. SNR are all the supernova remnants and then the GIC are the globular clusters. 
One particular structure that caught me right away was a figure eight in blue that's right here, Supernova Remnant BW-59. I hadn't ever seen that before in any images. The other thing I find amazing too are globular clusters at this distance just look like stars. And even with all the annotations, there are still plenty of structures which were left unannotated as they are normal emission structures that are currently not cataloged as either supernova remnants or emission bubbles. I do have this data loaded on Astrobin, including how the composite was created, RGB, and annotated versions are on Astrobin as well. I have the acquisition details and how all the 80 hours was spread across all the different channels and various crops and write-ups. I did have a initial discussion on Cloudy Nights Forum around the supernova remnant here in blue that I was not able to find at the time. As always, I have this data available on my website, setiastro.com, including a download page where you can download all my image data for free. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.